How the heck does this thing work? Let's see if this makes it in the video. Hey travel lovers, welcome to A Wanderlust for Life on YouTube, the channel that shows no, you your- No, this isn't a travel video, it's Vlogmas. Oh, sorry. <laughs> welcome to Vlogmas day number six. We are gonna make eggnog. eggnog. <laughs> and this is something that Sean loves to make, so he's joining me today and it's his first appearance on Vlogmas. So if you are new to the channel, you may not know this, but this is my husband, Sean. And if you've been watching for a while, you've seen him in other videos. So say hello down in the comments below. But now, let's make eggnog. Which is your favorite recipe? Because you have a very specific one, right? Yeah, I am a big fan of the Alton Brown aged eggnog recipe. I think we saw this on Good Eats probably, mm. I don't know, 15 years ago. And, Ages uh, ago. We've been making it for, uh, before we moved to Amsterdam, so at least yeah. seven or eight years every year. And he usually makes a ton of extras to give to other people at work and stuff like that. But this year, it's just us, so I think we're still gonna Double it, right? Yeah, we're gonna double it. You can save it, you can leave it in the fridge for uh, six, eight months, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a good one. And it's actually considered an aged uh, eggnog, so it is created to age. I think the biggest uh, disclaimer here is that this isn't a cooked one. Yeah, so it's not pasteurized. Also in the Netherlands, we don't have pasteurized eggs. Um, so, uh, you know, when you go to the grocery store in the Netherlands, you see that eggs are on the shelf all the time. They don't usually keep them in the fridge. Um, it's perfectly safe uh, because of the alcohol content of the eggnog. Um, and like I said, we've been doing it for uh, 10 years and uh, we have no qualms. If you want, you can pasteurize this. You can heat it before you put it in the bottles, but just be aware that we won't do it today. Yeah, but the links, all the information, the recipe, all that will be down below. But I just wanted to preface that um, before we actually get into making it. So what's step one? Uh, step one is to take the eggs, which we have already separated, uh, 12 egg yolks, a dozen eggs, and mix them in the stand mixer with uh, one pound of sugar. Cool. So, uh, fun fact, if you don't know us very well, uh, Sean does most of the cooking in the house. I'm still getting better at it. But um, the one thing he hates is separating eggs. So this is always my contribution to making eggnog, is separating the eggs. And uh, we're going to measure out the sugar and get that all started. But I don't know if you do this at home, so I wanted to share with you. Sometimes when we cook, it's just nice to have a little extra something to keep you going. And this is a cocktail you'll see in another Vlogmas. So subscribe, hit the notification bell, like the video if you enjoy it, and you'll get to see what the heck is this cocktail? And why is it so delicious in another video? Probably later this week. It smells great. Don't tell them what it is. Okay. Don't tell them what it tastes like. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Now we can get making. Yeah. Yeah, cool. <laughs> All right, so while he is measuring out the sugar, we are going to, I am going to um, start on the nutmeg because it's three teaspoons of nutmeg. So we have a whole nutmeg here. Now, pretty much for anything, you want to do things fresh. So I use ground spices all the time, but there's some times when I just don't. Nutmeg is one of them. So we're gonna grate it straight from the nut. And I think it's just cornstarch on top. It, it feels like it, because I think it's just supposed to keep it dry and, and everything, but it's fine to eat. So that's what we're gonna do. We have a microplane here. We actually have quite a few sizes of microplane, depending on what we are doing. Um, there is a nutmeg microplane, but it's so tiny. And this one is great for it as well, but it's bigger and it will let me collect um, the nutmeg in here. So I'm gonna do that and Sean's gonna get mixing here in just a minute. So Sean's finished combining the eggs with the nutmeg and the sugar. And the next step is? Uh, we're gonna mix the dairy and the booze in a big bowl. Big bowl. I'm gonna get the dairy out of the fridge because I don't wanna leave that out here. So three cups of each, right? Yeah, three cups of cream, three cups of milk, and three cups of booze. Cool. One of each type, one cup of each type of booze. Got it. I'll take care of that okay. part. <laughs> 
Okay, actually, Sean is gonna do the dairy first. That's a two cup. So we love these. These are the Pyrex measuring cups. And then I will do a cup each of the alcohol. So they just all go in here? Everything together, yeah. All right. We have cognac. Uh, really, just get decent booze. <laughs> it doesn't have to be great. Um, we just kind of pick some, not indoors, just what we have. I guess I should ask you guys, do you like eggnog? And if so, do you like to make it yourself? Do you like to buy the store version? Here, you don't really have the store version of eggnog. All right, so here is, uh, this is spiced rum, right? Yes. I don't know my alcohols. I'm really bad at that. But yeah, let us know if you like eggnog. And if you've had it, like, at Christmas markets, or, yeah, just how you like it. Ooh, yeah. It just looks like a big mess right now. <laughs> and the last thing is bourbon. Um, and this is Maker's Mark. Again, use what, we, what you have or what you can find. It's good. Drink break. I just need a quarter teaspoon. A quarter teaspoon. I think that is right here. Salt and eggnog. I think salt goes in everything. Salt right? goes in everything. Whiskey, whiskey, whiskey. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take this back to the mixer and add some of this to the mixer and kind of whip it up in there. And then when it gets too big for that, we're gonna put it back in here. So we'll see at the mixer. So we're all mixed. Yeah. Okay, so what's next? Uh, all that's left is to move the eggnog into the bottles where you want to keep it. So let's do that. All right. Um, can we pour some in our special glass first so we can taste test? Sure, let's, let's do that. I mean, you're always getting on me for tasting as I'm going when I'm cooking, and I feel like we haven't tasted the eggnog yet. It's true. <laughs> So we are gonna use these little lovely martini glasses. These were actually a gift for my birthday a couple years ago, actually. Um, and I love when they get some good use, so we'll have some eggnog in there. We'll also use these martini glasses later this week when we have, when we share some festive cocktail recipes. You don't wanna miss that. You don't wanna miss that, do you? I'm not gonna miss that. <laughs> All right. I guess one for you. I'll be. <laughs> All right, and you know what the finishing touch is on any eggnog, right? Right? What is it? Okay. Nutmeg. They're yelling. Cheater. They're Cheater. yelling. They're yelling nutmeg. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put some nutmeg on top. I love nutmeg almost as much as I love cinnamon, and I freaking love cinnamon. Okay, who's ready to taste test? Let's give it a try. See how it came out? All right. Cheers. 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 It's very smooth. It is. It's a lot smoother in, than I think it normally is. In past years, yeah, it's been less smooth, yeah. We would take this to Christmas parties, and let's just say we would take a lot and none of it came back home. <laughs> it got drank. I think that's what he's known for at parties now. I think I would like this even better when it's cold. I like it better in about two months after yeah, it's aged. Yeah, because it, it ages really well. Okay, so next step is actually putting it in the bottle for later um, so that you can actually age the eggnog. So should we just do that? Yeah, let's do it. So we're gonna put it to the bottle, got some more bottles back here. How many do you think? Um, Hopefully a lot. I think four. I think four is the right number. Let's see. Okay. Will he get it right? No, probably not. Comment. While he's working, I'll supervise. Well, as you can see, the right number was not four, it was five. Who got it right? Who got it wrong? No, not me. I didn't get it right. <laughs> well, that is good for us because we don't have anybody to share it with this year. This will last us a couple months. Yeah, he actually tried to keep one for... I kept one for a year last year, and at one year it was still really good. Uh, but... but then uh, I let it sit in the fridge for another six, eight, eight months, and yeah. then 
It was just starting to turn after one year and eight months. So you can age this for a long time. I don't think I'd go further than a year. Like make it for Christmas, drink, like make however many batches, enjoy. It's very good right away. There's nothing wrong with it right away. And then you can then save the rest for next year. I think that's a really good way to go. Yes, absolutely. And like I said at the beginning, if you are scared of raw eggs and you want to pasteurize this, you can. You know what? <laughs> we'll just link it down below yeah. because we're not experts on any of this and we want you to really enjoy your eggnog and for you to feel comfortable with drinking it. Yes. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, it was so good to have Sean here today. And you'll be seeing him again, obviously. But um, yeah, if you liked the video, give it a like. Did you like the video? I did. I liked creating it and I also liked consuming it. Yeah, tell me about it. All right, well, we will see you tomorrow on day seven. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.